Hi, I'm Mike Chappell, and in this CERT Mike Explains video, we're going to talk about the ways that we can securely destroy sensitive information. In particular, we're going to focus on an important technique for data stored in the cloud called crypto shredding. We'll also discuss more conventional techniques, including regular shredding, disk wiping, and degaussing. Each one of these tools and techniques has its place in the cybersecurity toolkit. The concept of shredding is rooted in the physical world, where paper documents containing sensitive or confidential information are physically torn into small, unreadable pieces by mechanical shredders. This traditional method of destroying confidential paper documents ensures that they can't be reassembled and read. Now, in the digital world, we usually can't physically shred our data because it just isn't practical. Instead, we need to find other ways to destroy digital data. In the digital world, we often can't physically shred our data because it just isn't practical. Instead, we need to find other ways to destroy digital data. Disk wiping is a process by which data on a storage device is securely erased, rendering it unrecoverable. Disk wiping typically involves overwriting the entire storage medium with zeros or with random data patterns. In some cases, particularly for highly sensitive data, this overwriting process might be repeated multiple times to make sure that the original data is completely obliterated. This process is very effective when the goal is to repurpose a hard drive or storage device or dispose of it in a manner that ensures that no residual data can be retrieved from it. Disk wiping is a crucial element of data security practices, particularly in environments handling sensitive information. However, disk wiping is a process that requires time and resources. It can be very time consuming, especially for large capacity drives, because it requires overwriting every bit of data on the device. Also, the large number of write operations involved in disk wiping can reduce the lifespan of the drive by simply wearing it out. Degaussing is also used for erasing data on storage devices. Degaussing applies a strong magnetic field to magnetic storage devices, such as magnetic hard drives or tapes. This process disrupts the magnetic material where the data is stored, erasing that data. Now, it's important to note that degaussing does not work on solid state drives because they do not use magnetic media for storage. While degaussing is a powerful method for data erasure, it also renders the storage device unusable and it requires special equipment. While disk wiping and degaussing are effective, they can be resource intensive, and in some scenarios, like distributed systems or cloud storage, Physically wiping data from all storage devices can be impractical or even impossible. Your cloud service provider is not going to let you physically destroy the drives where they stored your data. That brings us to the concept of crypto shredding. But before we cover crypto shredding, I just want to take a moment to invite you to visit my website at certmike.com. On that site, I have free study plans put together to help you earn your next certification. The plans tie together the content that you'll find in study guides, video courses, and practice tests to help you prepare for your next certification exam and pass that test on the first try. Also, if you're enjoying this Cert Mike Explains video, please take a moment to click the like button below to help other people discover it. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be among the first to see my new certification videos as they come out. Crypto shredding is a technique for data disposal that leverages the power of encryption. Here's how it works. When data that will later be crypto shredded is first stored, it's encrypted using a unique encryption key. When you need to delete that data, instead of erasing the data itself, you just destroy the encryption key. Without this key, the encrypted data becomes unreadable, and for all practical purposes, it's destroyed. For example, imagine that you're using a cloud storage service to store sensitive data. In that scenario, you're not just relying on the service provider's encryption, but you also implement an additional layer of encryption using your own unique encryption keys. So all the data you upload is encrypted on your end before it even reaches the cloud. That practice is often referred to as client-side encryption. Now say you decide to stop using the cloud service and you want to make sure that your data is irretrievably deleted. Physically wiping your data from the cloud provider's storage devices would not only be impractical, but you also wouldn't have the direct ability to do so because you don't have any control over the provider's hardware. But because you use client-side encryption, you have an advantage. You control the encryption keys to your data, not the cloud provider. Therefore, instead of trying to wipe your data, you can simply destroy your encryption keys. With the keys gone, your data, even though technically still present in the cloud, is now an unreadable pile of gibberish. In effect, by destroying your decryption key, you've crypto shredded your data, making it inaccessible to anyone, including the cloud provider. 
The beauty of crypto shredding lies in its efficiency and practicality. It provides a solution for deleting data in complex distributed environments where traditional disk wiping falls short. But remember, the effectiveness of crypto shredding relies heavily on strong encryption practices, secure key management, and thorough key destruction techniques. While it doesn't remove the data physically, crypto shredding ensures that data is rendered useless and unreadable, achieving the goal of data disposal. I hope this video helped you better understand crypto shredding and other data destruction techniques. If it did, please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel for more IT certification content.